What is going on everybody, it is Jake here, and today I'm going to be showing you a better way to explain how to get nearly infinite of almost a billion credits in Forza Horizon 2. Um, I realized that my last video on this did cover it, but since I already did it, I didn't want to just redo it and stuff, so it was kind of hard to understand. But basically, I have a brand new guy, a brand new account, all this kind of stuff and basically what you want to do is you can do this right from the start um, what you want to do is you will start right here you know coming off the boat you can pick any one of the cars preferably the best one that you think would be able to drift the best and then head up right here the airport and the airport is a very good place to do this because basically what you need to do is you need to get from here which is one credit this is another this is another one credit so that that should be done really fast this is three this is five and this is ten you can do this in any order so you can go from here to here or you can go from here to here now if, you, if you're here you can go here or here and if you're here you can go here or here either way um, you will be able to get to these two spots and then from these spots, you can get to here. It doesn't matter which way you choose, just make it in the general this way mark. Alright, so now, once you have that, what you want to do is, I'm going to go to the world map, and then just go to the, to the garage. And you can fast travel to the garage for free, anytime, so never worry about that. Um, I don't think a lot of people know about that sometimes, but, you know. <laughs> Alright, now from here, I'm going to go into the garage and dump money and everything. So I'm just going to, what can I get for, uh, like, I don't know, 15000 So you just want to dump all your money into something. You know, get rid of it all. You don't want that stuff. Um... Okay. Let's put some expensive rims on this, even though I'm not going to use them. How much is this? 35. Ooh, that's, uh, that's bright. That's bright purple. <laughs> um, yeah, sure, whatever. That looks cool. That looks like a Tron car. Let's get some of these. Some of these. Can I get that? Nope. Basically, what you want to do is get it as close to zero as possible. I probably should have just bought those tires. Um, bigger rims. Okay, I have 308 coins now, or credits, whatever you'd like to call them. Okay, so now what you want to do is leave your garage. Waiting for this to load. Also, that car right there, the Corvette CR Stingray, that is probably the best, uh, the best street performance car I've ever seen. Like, I love it. Okay, so from here, you want to go to your world map, and then just hover it. So, see how the little cursor on the road moves with my cursor, but if I go off-road, the little cursor on the road just kind of follows as close as it can. Go anywhere in here so that the cursor is right on the tip. It will say 10,000 credits. Just ignore it because you don't have 10,000 credits, so it's fine. It will generate, I don't know how, but why. Um, it will generate 999 million credits. Let's see our thing. And there you go. I don't know. Let me angle this a little bit different. There you go. Now you can see 999,999,999 credits. Okay, that is how you do it. And I'm also going to show you how I basically got all my skill points. Now it's really simple. It's kind of tricky a little bit. Eh, stupid manual shifting. Got to actually do stuff. Okay. Basically, what I did... Let me turn this music off. That's annoying. 
I'm not a hipster. Well, maybe just a little bit, but not that much. Okay, so what I did is some people will tell you to do donuts, which for some reason was not working in this car. I mean, I figured, you know, a Corvette, donuts, burnouts, that would work, but it doesn't. Uh, it does, kind of, but not as good as other cars, like the Lamborghini Mira. Uh, that's a pretty good car to do it in. Any of the sports cars, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. So basically, what I did is I would go from one end of the runway, just pretend this is the end of it, and then I would, you know, do my stuff. I would start out a burnout, and then just basically do this. Once I got to about 30, I'd shift it. And the way that it reads a drift is it has to slide so far, turn left, and turn right. So that is all you're doing. Basically, it's 100 points over and over and over again, and that gets your skill multiplier up. And it's 100 points at the minimum. I have a little bit of a, uh, a bonus on my drift point thing, but not that much. It's only 10 extra points. So basically, you could get to times 5 pretty fast, and instead of... You know, if you're doing your math right, instead of 100 points each, it's actually more like 500 points each, which adds up a lot. Once you get until around, like, the 15,000 points, that multiplies by 5 to 80,000 points, which is a lot. That's a couple skill point levels. Um, and then, you know, you can just do your, uh, do your thing, and that is what happens. Okay. Now, I'm going to exit, um, I just hope that saved, but whatever, I'm pretty sure it saved, you know what, I'm going to buy something just to make yeah, sure that it saved, and then I'll show you, I'll re-down the file, I'll re-download the file, and show you exactly what it is that you have to delete to make this work, this only works on... Uh, Forza Horizon 2, um, Xbox 360, not PS3, not PS4, not Xbox One, not PS... Yeah, I already said PS4, but yeah. Because the, the Xbox One is designed better, obviously. Um, PS4, still obviously designed better. And PlayStation, you can't delete files. So only the 360. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to buy this, make sure it saves. Okay. So basically I'm just going to turn this off, or no, I can't, I can just reconnect it, yeah. You can't be, um, on Wi-Fi when you do this because it will, um, what is this? Oh, okay. I got you. Because it will prompt you to download uh, an update, and that update is what fixes that. And that's why you can't do it on the PlayStation anymore, because that update is there, and you can't delete updates on the PlayStation. At least not that I know of. And then, you know... It will tell you, hey, download this. So basically, you just put it on a hard drive or whatever device you're using. Remember what it is. And then, um, yeah. If you've already downloaded it, just delete it. If you haven't, do what I did and then re-download it. It's not hard. That is the update. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. I hope this better explained how you do that in, you know, in better detail. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Later, guys. Peace. Ooh, can't click it.